Basically, there are two types of jobs in data science, data providers and data users. Data providers. These jobs deal with taking raw and unstructured data, cleaning it, and storing it so that data users can actually use the data for their analyses. There are many types of data provider jobs. Each specializes in a specific part of the data journey, from onboarding to consuming. We're trying to get to a state where we're data as a service, DAS. Now, you may think it's as simple as storing data in a database, which might be true at a small company. But as the data gets complex, so do the roles and responsibilities of the job. Data providers have several different roles and responsibilities at bigger companies. Let's go through some of these job roles. Number one, data architect. Data architects plan the organization's data infrastructure so that the data is organized in the most efficient way to serve its users. They'll also figure out what tech stack to use to meet your needs, like Snowflake for analytics, and how to index all the different sources so they can play well together. Number two, database administrator. Now that you have the database, you'll need a pseudo administrator. You'll need to manage all the permissions for the various users and groups. Some industries are highly regulated, like life sciences and pharma. In such industries, it's important to prevent certain user groups from accessing certain data types. You don't want data to float freely around the organization. For instance, you wouldn't want to make medical decisions based on marketing data. Number three, data engineer. The data is now stored and provisioned for you. The next step is to get the data in a usable state for the end consumer. We're one step away from actually being able to use the data for something. The data engineer's role is to be a stopgap between the unstructured or raw data and the cleaned, pristine, structured, consumable data. They talk to the data consumer, like the data science team, and get their requirements by trying to understand the business goal of the project. Then the data engineer preps and cleans the data to meet those requirements. So that's most of the job roles that provide the data. We're finally ready to talk about the data user in this data journey. Data users. Data users use the data for extracting info and helping people make business decisions. It can include anything from data analysis to A-B testing to data visualization to machine learning. There are too many roles to name in this section. In reality, its number depends on the industry and how deeply rooted data is in the product or service. In the SaaS industry, since all user engagement data is captured, you might have more need for advanced analytics, so you'll naturally have more insights coming from data than, say, data from the construction industry. Number one, data analysts. Here's one type of job all industries have. A data analyst's primary goal is to analyze the data for the product and business teams. They answer product and business questions by churning through data related to product engagement and marketing. This then translates to making product and marketing business decisions, obviously. Number two, statisticians. Having a data analyst in your company is a starting point for a data-driven company. Call it a preschool. Once you've graduated from it and formed a data analyst team, the next step is, well, high school. Statisticians also analyze data just like data analysts, but they usually apply more complex techniques when doing that. They are more concerned with extracting signals from the data and applying confidence to their tests. One example is A-B testing, or predicting future trends and trying to understand the return on investment of your marketing mix. Basically, a statistician is a data analyst on roids. If we're in high school now, the statistician is the president of your high school math club. Uber smart, geeky math person. Number three, quantitative slash research analysts. The captain of the football team is the quant and research analyst. They are a powerhouse of complex models trying to understand complex behaviors in your data. This can mean analyzing financial data to build models that can help make stock purchase decisions within milliseconds. It can also mean analyzing user behavior to understand causal effects like seeing if an ad led to the purchase or if the users were going to purchase anyways. Whatever they're trying to do, these people are usually geniuses with PhDs. So maybe they're actually the valedictorian and the football team captain. Yeah, why not? Number four, business intelligence developers. Here's the weakest coder of the bunch, the BI developer. They're here to make dashboards. That's about it. You need to know some SQL, maybe, but they're really here just to build dashboards in Tableau, Click, and other tools. This person is the wannabe smart kid. Always hangs out with the smart group, but mostly relies on complex sounding buzzwords to impress people. Number five, machine learning engineers. The last job type is a stud, the Chad. The alpha everyone wants to be. Enter the machine learning engineers. Cross a research analyst with a statistician. 
and you have someone that can build models and predict what users want. They are building recommendation engines and analyzing the experiments they are putting users through. Like, how much misinformation can we give Facebook users before they start a civil war? Crossbreed them with skills from a software developer, and you have a monster. Here's someone that can deploy their own experiments in production and needs no help. The entertainment industry calls them triple threats, someone that can sing, act, and dance. Knowing what you can do with data science is one thing. Doing it is something completely different. For that, you'll need to have a special set of skills. What they are and how to get them is what we cover on our channel, so stay tuned.